I'm Janine LaFleur. I'm here with Dr. Celeste. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for inviting me. Well, we would love to hear a little bit about your startup story. We have a company called Mobisante, and uh, we're building the world's first phone-based ultrasound imaging system. And we started this company to solve a problem that's quite global in scope. Less than 30% of the people uh, have access to ultrasound imaging around the world today. And, and primarily because conventional imaging is too expensive, not portable enough, and very, very hard to use. So we have built systems like these. these are, yeah, uh, this is the complete ultrasound system based on a phone and off-the-shelf hardware. As you can tell, it's small enough. I can take it in my pocket. I can take it to the patient. It's on a phone, so it's always connected. I can send my data elsewhere for di remote diagnosis and second opinion. And it really brings imaging to vast majority of the people today that don't have access. And why that's important is there's a woman who dies every minute somewhere in the world because of complications related to pregnancy. And a lot of these complications could have been avoided if they had had a scan during the pregnancy, so the arrangements could have been made if they had complications to deliver in a real medical facility rather than delivering at home. So that has a huge impact on maternal and global health. And that's a problem we want to solve. That's amazing that you've come up with this device and you're using modern technology to do it. Um, now tell us a little bit, Startup America is to help mentor entrepreneurs. How would you help mentor them in coming up with something in this field where you have crossed the boundaries yeah. between devices and yeah. um, new technology? Yeah, so I think you ask a very important question. Whenever you're trying to do something new and novel that bridges, so for us, you know, we are bridging the gap between technology industry and the healthcare industry. They're both very complex industries. So I think it's very critical to, to find the right advisors and, and, and people who can mentor you along the way. And that's critical. And also, you know, it is worth picking a problem that's hard because once you've solved the problem, you've got a barrier to entry. Others can't solve it as easily. So I think picking a good problem, finding the right partners, and uh, you know, and not, not, not really. And the other thing is, how do you react to criticism? You'll have a lot of naysayers. Whenever you're doing something for the first time that nobody has done before, yeah. people will tell you it can't be done, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. And you should always be listening to criticism, but not take it personally and not take it at face value. So okay. being able to accept critiques, but not, you know, be stopped because of that, right? So the critiques in that case are lessons learned. They are lessons learned, but at the same time, you know, not, not let them get to you emotionally. I mean, if okay. you believe in the vision, you've validated the vision, and you think you're solving a real problem, and you have to keep going, right? And not be turned away by naysayers, of which okay. you will encounter lots of. So. Well, speaking of being involved and, yeah. and um, thinking about what people are saying to you, yeah. um, what advice would you give to entrepreneurs on how to grow a business and how to run a business? Well, uh, I think, I mean, some of these things are pretty well understood. You know, you start small, you, you be very careful about using the resources well and efficiently, and, uh, you know, stay focused on the problem you're trying to solve and creating value for the customer. I think being very clear who your customers are and making sure you're solving the problem, and that's the most important thing. And use resources very, very parsimoniously, very, okay. very carefully. Okay. Um, and to wrap up, what's an inspirational story that you would like to tell the audience that helped get you off the ground and motivated? Well, you know, my inspiration, I think our team's inspiration comes from the fact we can see the impact these devices have, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we have been running clinical trials and we already got data where nurses and doctors tell us that how these devices have helped them save lives, do a quicker, faster diagnosis. And, and to me, you know, that's the reason we exist, right? That's right. what uh, keeps us going, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here thank today. You.